Sorry, what? Is that what I meant? Did you know even... that, you incubus? I wasn't even half paying attention. Aeon is just like, I'm sorry. Uh, you say something? I, uh... <laughs> it's no, okay. That's I the story what... of my life. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. I was um, zoning yeah. in and out, and I was also prepping my uh, smokables to step out on the deck and have a smonk. A smonk? Yep. Fuck. Having dude. a smoke. If I went, if I tried going through this game without any save states, yeah, you would, you would still be in the fucking bog, dude. You would still be in the bog, just losing your shit. Probably contemplating canceling the stream because you'll be like, for the last four streams, I've been in the same place. Yeah. Oh, I know people are going to call me a cheater over this, but this game has some very unfair mechanics. Dude, people shit talk you constantly. Just don't worry about it. Don't don't give it any light of day. Just fuck them. Who cares? So, um, play the game the way you want to play the game and have fun. Or at least try to have fun in the fucking meantime. Mm -hmm. Now, there's this actually a really cool video of, like, Joe Rogan and Neil deGrasse Tyson talking. And he's explaining... you know, Because you know how Neil deGrasse Tyson does that thing where he has to comment on every science scene in a movie to tell you yeah. how it's not realistic? Okay, yeah. and you know how there's all the memes about him getting shoved into a locker? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen oh, those? Oh, no. I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. Oh, no, no, this it's, is it's gonna literally, be ass. Oh, fucking hell. It's literally like Neil deGrasse Tyson cast as like the high school nerd, and everyone who is a fan of the thing is a jock who's like shoving him into a locker. It, it's really funny. Oh, um, my God. You have to show me some of those. Right? Okay, so... Oh, uh, effectively, shit. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson was like, yes, but I need to educate people. And Joe's like, no, no, you do not. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Joe is like, Joe is just straight up like, Wait, no, you just... no, you do not. <laughs> Dude, Tommy speaking tweets, of Neil Neil Rogan. No, guys, guys, hold on a second. Uh, you'll probably yeah. see it in the feedback. One of the guys has got those two swords. He just stood there and just got himself crushed. Oh god, that, yeah, that was a glitch. Yeah. <laughs> he just Dude, like signed his own death warrant. So Dude, anyway, he had to like... He had no, to like, educate him like, Okay, this is how you make a tweet, Neil. Watch. You have so many... You have about... Like, they, he essentially got him to agree, You have about as many followers as I do, which is too many to keep track of. It's like, this is how you make a tweet, <sighs> Neil. Watch this. Shit, shit, and then he, shit. he literally just made one on his phone and then he just looked him in the eye and dropped his phone. <laughs> Wait, he made this is how you make a tweet. He made a tweet and then dropped his phone? Yeah, it looked Neil in the eyes like, and then I just don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, that is the way to make a tweet. Dude, I feel like if you reach a yeah, Joe is Joe's Fuck. right. It's like once you reach a certain level of popularity on the internet. You, you just got like, bitch. Yeah, you can't keep up with everyone. You can't sit there and watch your fucking like, like you know, activity feed all day. At some point, you gotta just stop caring. You just, yeah, and you on just top go of on that. Twitter and say some. Well, don't say some too dumb shit because then you'll get canceled. But like, just say whatever you're gonna say on Twitter, dude. And then put I your did... phone down and get back to work, dude. Getting canceled yeah. is just like, that's just a dumb yeah, let's, buzzword. Let's... It's a dumb scare tactic. That's yes, it is. That's uh, oh, no. avoid the. T oh, okay, okay, okay. And uh, oh, wait, wait I could have done that the whole time. <laughs> could have done what the entire time? What? What happened? I could have done those cartwheel tackles on the porcupines. Yeah, you. J yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. You oh my that. god. <laughs> I thought you knew that. No. <laughs> Or Goldie. I could just only imagine my character wearing a fucking dunce hat right about now. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Well, nobody in the chat said it, so none of us, like, said it because, well, I thought you knew, so I guess that's on us, I suppose. And I've never played this game, so I wouldn't know any of the tactics to do anything, so... Nyeh. Oh, my God. Wait, did that move in slow motion, or... I guess. Cancel right. culture, stupid. Dude, um, Thad Dur I can't say the name right. Cancel culture is cancer. Answer culture, more like it. Ha! <laughs> yeah. 
Like I didn't even I'll intend. Actually, I didn't even intend actually, to make if a... you want to be literal, if you want to be literal, there is such a thing as a cancer culture because if you go into a science lab and look in the petri dishes. Oh my god. Well. Oh my god. That wasn't what I even meant. <laughs> no, I know. I I know that. I'm just steering the conversation away from an obvious uh, mine, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ste Let's uh, steer away from that iceberg while it's this far away from us right now. Golden is driving the Titanic right now, and he's like, well, why does it have to be no, the no, Golden is driving Golden. the Titanic, and I'm the navigator with binoculars be like, dude, what are you doing? You're, you're going back to the iceberg. Go away. <laughs> Golden is like, I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. Meanwhile, he has, like, one, like, fucking... He's not even looking at the ocean. He's, like, looking down at a Game Boy. He's like, don't worry about it. I'm sure we're fine. Did Game Boys even exist back in those days? Wow, that flew yeah, over your head. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I sometimes no, no. don't get sarcasm. No, no, you're good. It's not um, even a matter of sarcasm. No, no, it's just a very, just an ideal joke. That's... You, I'm you, just thinking it would be funny if Golden is trying to, like, drive the ti a titanic size ship. Trying to steer a plugging, fucking ship. Yeah, it would, no, by plugging his Game Boy into it. Using the game board as a fucking steering wheel? Yes, exactly that. Stop it! Like Golden goes like, over the mega horn and he's like, oh, Welcome, uh, my name is Golden Fox, so welcome to your uh, voyage on the Titanic. And hold up, I gotta get my USB wait. cable and plug it into this thing. No, 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 right. wait, wait. If, what if the stream, what if the, how the stream is going is how he's driving the ship? It's like, This is BS, I totally dodged that iceberg. <laughs> But it's like, all the, all the fucking crewmates are like, wait, what? Iceberg? Wait, what? <laughs> They're freaking out. <laughs> so, no, it's like, it's okay, guys. I got an extra life. You just No, <laughs> even better. I got a save state. We could just yeah. go back a couple seconds. No, no, I got a save state, guys. It's called the lifeboat. You need to get on those now, by the way. <laughs> It's like gold, for, for as much as Golden presses the save state, I don't think there's gonna be a accurate save state to lifeboat ratio. It's gonna be like like 500 lifeboats and like the Guys, I only have about 500 lives, and there's 1,500 of you. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Sorry. Um. Everybody get in the lifeboats. Chat, I'm putting you all in the lifeboats. The captain goes down with the ship, by the way, Golden, so I don't know. Uh, um, it, it sucks that they didn't put this in for internet history, but in the cost of Concordia, did you did you hear the original call of... Or wait, no, I think he did have this in briefly, but it's brilliant. You don't even have to know English to enjoy this. The Italian Coast Guard. Um, like, the Italian Coast Guard captain, who was, like, yelling... At or Son he was of a like bitch. yelling at the uh, Captain Scatini. He's like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Oh, I'm on a lifeboat watching from shore. And why are you not on the boat?" <laughs> or like he said something like, "Are you injured?" He's like, "Well, Fuck. no." He's like, "Then why are why are you not on the boat?" And he like chews him out. Like he's like, "Get your fat ass back on that boat, or I'm <laughs> gonna have you arrested." Back on that boat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, and that statement in Italian, of course, actually became a popular t-shirt <laughs> because he, that call got leaked to the news and then it became a meme and he became, like, a legend for that because yeah. he is right. He is the captain. He should be the last one off the ship. That's where, actually where that comes from. The captain doesn't go down with the ship. He's the last to leave the ship. Well, that makes a hell of a lot more sense. Well, no, no, no. Here's the thing is that, like, it's... Outside of like old damn it C C stuff, um, uh, it's a time of crisis. He is the captain, the leader of the Fucking vessel, hell. and he is not Twice present on the to vessel to assist oh my God. you know the terrified tourists on his vessel. <laughs> Meanwhile, Golden is playing fucking hopscotch with hooks. Ugh. do I really have to do this? Yes. Fuck, dude. Come on, man! Double Dutch! Cinderella, dressed in yellow, went upstairs to kiss a fella, made a mistake and kissed a Fuck. snake. How many doctors did it take? 
<laughs> Imagine Golden playing double dutch for real and the rope hits his leg and he's like, fuck! Say, <laughs> say, oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> Are you going to save state after every jump? Yes! <laughs> no, this right, game has gotten on my last nerve. Okay, they died. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I save state. Save state. Also, I love that the ground is the bee's enemy. Yeah. The Damn it! Die. Burn. Burn. Oh. I, I assume that's the noise they make when they fucking explode. On In the, the first <laughs> one... In the first one, they're like, mm, mm. yeah, <laughs> which sounds funny as hell. Uh, Aeon, can you answer this for us? Uh, Blue Griffin Azura asks, and wasn't there a women and children first rule for sinking ships? Yeah, there was. I think so. Uh, I know that's like a general disaster thingy. Yeah, in any, like, fucking, just, like, you need to get the fuck out situation, whether it's, like, a building on fire or a ship that's sinking, I think the, I think the natural, not polite thing to do, but, like, the, the natural well, thing to... There's a misconception about it, too, especially in conflict areas, um, and it's kind of a bad one. Yeah, and that's, that's actually um, pretty cool. Because if you're, like, total, say, for instance, you ended up in a conflict zone. Yeah. Despite the fact that you are not a soldier, not a cop, or whatever, the, whatever the conflict is, like a common oh, one is like no, say it's a war, no, 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 say no, no, no. you're in an area and it becomes a war zone. Uh, they seem to assume that just because fuck, well, you know, just because of a gender thing, um, that for whatever reason, because they assume, oh well, he has more agency, so therefore he's just safer in this environment, which is statistically not true. Okay. Or that you can somehow defend yourself, but uh, I I don't know. Um, hey Wolfie, I don't know. There was an old belief that kung flu could deflect bullets. <laughs> uh, Wait, you is there, well are you making a bit right now? Um. Well, I mean, on one hand, I'm making a bit on the sense that like, yeah, you're Damn still it. fucked. Like, if if you're yeah. up against like what a militia, an army of militia has invaded your small somewhere off country. They've essentially just left you to die, but um, uh, but the other thing is that there actually apparently was a theory uh, back in the early days of of imperialism in Asia, where there were some Son martial artist bitch. people who were under the impression that they could deflect bullets with their martial arts. As you imagine, they were conquered pretty easily. <laughs> When they found out the hard way that uh, Kung Fu cannot, in fact, block bullets. Crouching tiger. Hidden dragon, come at me, beast! <laughs> ah! <laughs> that really hurts! <laughs> Yo, what is the name of that movie? Or, like, that scene from that movie where that dude jumps out of the thing and he, like, shows off his Kung Fu moves? And then the cowboy pulls out a gun? and it's Indiana shoots. Jones. Indiana, yeah. That's Indiana Jones! Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's easily okay, one of my point out, that movies. scene... That scene, yeah. by the way, was ad lib because originally it was supposed to be a long, drawn out fight scene between the two. But Harrison yeah. Ford had been so tired after filming all the other shots because that was a big scene. There were a lot of fights in it. It was very active, yeah. so he's tired. He was so tired and had enough of everything, and they wouldn't let him take his break yet. Okay. So when the guy came out and did the sword stuff, he just whipped out the gun and shot him. And the actor just the actor playing the swordsman just kind of rolled along with it, and. Spielberg loved it so much that he said, "Actually, let's just keep that." Yeah, I love it when when things like that happen <laughs> in movie movie development. I love it when like like actors like wing something and they're just like, you know what, we're keeping that in. That's I have to mark. ask a question here, according to what I'm seeing in the game. So obviously, it's weird that the walrus is able to like have an ice freezing breath. How the fuck is the piranha plant or the piranha fish still swimming when in there's ice? I think the top, I think the what they want you to believe is that the top portion is frozen and not the bottom portion. Yeah, it's Even called though. a layer of ice. And yeah. second, and secondly, you, uh, uh, may I introduce you to Pokemon's Warren, which can learn, uh, which can learn ice cream and it is in fact I'm, ta I'm talking about real life shit, not Pokemon shit. Come on. <laughs> you're trying it's to apply real, real, you, it's you're trying to apply. 
You're trying to apply real life shit in a game where there's crocodiles walking with like cropped tank tops and flexing their goddamn muscles, and they get all mad when you jump on them. How am I supposed to get through this? Yeah, and meanwhile, there's like fucking murder hornets everywhere, the size of a goddamn small child. I don't even like the size of a toddler. Yellow jackets. Oh god. I mean, like. <laughs> 